There were several talents in NXT that had requested to work with Mustafa Ali, and Ali was more than happy to oblige. The goal for Ali and Baron Corbin's appearances on the NXT brand is to help refresh Ali and Corbin. That's actually per Fightful Select. Putty, I think it's a good move. We did talk about this last week. I mean, like, you know, it, 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 is, it is a good thing here. Uh, as NXT, you know, for veterans to go down, etc. as people get called up, you said, like, you know, it, it's a thin roster in NXT, right? But who else do you think could benefit from going down to NXT for a uh, refresh? Also, I heard that Nick Khan wants these main roster players in NXT right now to help boost the price tag for NXT TV contracts rene- renegotiating. Smart move there. Right. He thinks it could be a standalone brand. Yeah. I did see that. Yeah. Um, one name that comes to mind was already answered. Dana Brooke appearing on NXT. Um, was that a one off? That's what I'm curious about. Is it? It makes sense that it would be because it's it was an open battle royal for no one contendership. What is she doing? Nothing. I'm I'm looking I'm curious to see what happens next week. Will she be here? Back in NXT. Will she stay around for a little bit? Hope she does. I think she needs it. We talk about Dana Brooke all the time. She definitely needs something. Give Dana Brooke a chance. Yeah. No, I agree with that. Dana Brooke definitely deserves a chance because if she can go, she's got the look. She's 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 got the moveset. She's been getting better and better. I it, maybe she could use some a little mic work, maybe. Yeah. And and NXT would be. I mean, look at Mandy Rose when she went down to NXT. When she went back down, her mic work improved dramatically. Right. And, and so Dana Brooke could benefit from that. Although, you know, the, the women's division in NXT is actually is actually pretty good. You know, I, I don't necessarily think they need vets going down there. Am I wrong on that, buddy? I don't think they do either. It definitely helps. Like when the AJ Styles did it, Dolph Ziggler did it. It helps put eyes on the product for people who aren't watching NXT. Mm-hmm. But I don't think they need it. No. The, the like, one they shouldn't need it because back in Black and Gold brand, they didn't. It was all right. young talent making names for themselves. Right. Which is what they're doing here, which they're kind of are. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't necessarily know if this this is a testament to, like, women's wrestling all around, but, like, I feel like the women in, in NXT is actually stronger than the men. And you can see that, I guess, in a lot of different cases, different promotions. Um, there's a lot of good women talent out there. But the one person that really came to mind for me on who could benefit on the main roster going back down to NXT. And I've talked about this before in the past, and I'm going to go reconfirm this today. Omos. I think Omos is a, has so much potential just because of his size, right? Just like how yes, Andre absolutely. Giant was an attraction, Big Show was an attraction because of the size. But, you know, both men could wrestle as well. Omos, not quite at that level. You bring him down to NXT. You 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 have him work in the base. You, you have him hone his craft in the ring with these people over there. I think he could be a slam dunk man. I think you could have a huge, for lack of better words, superstar when he's done with NXT to go back at the main roster. I think that's a it has to it has to happen. It's very hard. They've done it many times before, but it's also very hard to do. Introduce a character on the main roster, completely change that character on the main roster. And have people be invested. It doesn't happen too often. Send Riddick Moss down to NXT, please. No one gives a crap about him at all. He has no character. He has no direction. He has no... Well, yet Paul Heyman called him. He'd probably be the next big thing if given the opportunity. He has the, all the hmm. tools there. He just needs the right moment and right opportunity. He's doing nothing. Send well, him he said the same thing about... He said the same thing about Curtis Axel. You know, like that kind of flounder. But I don't think Did that he? was necessarily... It wasn't necessarily Curtis Axel's fault, though. No, it's not his fault at all. But Rick Moss is not doing anything. Give him back to NXT. Have maybe Carol and Emma, because she's not doing anything either. Mm-hmm. And uh, what the uh, hell? It's a he's shame, up? right? Because Emma Emma was crushing it in the Indies and in Impact. Yeah. Crushing it. Former tag team champion in Impact. Right. And, and to see her just go back to her role as Emma, I get, I get it, you know, go back to the name, Emma. But like. The name's fine, but just give her some sort of character. They have her, they have her going back to pretty much the same shit she was doing beforehand. I don't, There's I don't a understand. Romance it. angle with uh, Madcap, and then next week is now he's back to Riddick Moss. What's going on? What, what's his character? There's no character. No, what's his moveset? I don't know. Send him back down to NXT. Develop this Riddick Moss character some more. Give Emma something to do. Mm-hmm. 
I agree. And uh, and uh, what's 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 going on with Elias? Where's he been? Yeah, send him back down too. Let me give it a little. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I I think you know. I think the problem with Elias is because he has he has the tools. I think the problem is that they just did so much, so many different like character changes with him so fast. Like I, I, I think that's why it's kind of hurting him. I don't actually know if he needs to refine his his craft down at NXT. Like, but again, maybe a reboot. Maybe I don't think reboot because I don't. Baron Corbin doesn't need to refine his craft. I think Baron Corbin could he, use he, some. He's a little I refresher think, of character. I, I think yeah, a, a reboot of his character, but also I, I think Baron Corbin could use some mic work as well. Honestly, really okay. Yeah, like I, 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 I don't necessarily think he's strong on the mic. I don't necessarily think he's bad, but like you know, for someone that like if they want to build him to be a, a top bad guy, a, a top heel, like he, he definitely has to be more crisp in the mic, and I feel like he's not quite there yet. That's why. Another, that's why I really like the pairing of him and JBL. It'd be awesome. Yeah, I uh, dude I again think we last week. Right, I thought that would be a home run. Like this, this is going to be the best version of Baron Corbin we've seen, and ah, I don't know what's going on here. Um, there was someone else I was going to mention. I think it would be good. Karen Cross, I feel like, could actually benefit going down to NXT again. His name came to mind, but I'm curious where this angle with AJ Styles is going to leave him off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because that, that could actually set him back in the right direction. But, like, you know, we've, we've seen a quite a few different feuds where you thought that would, like, put him in another stratosphere. And, unfortunately, it hasn't for whatever reason. I like Karrion Cross. I think he's good. Uh, I just, there's just, I think he's not really connected even with the fans for whatever reason. He's in the right storyline. He has everything there, like you said. He came in really hot, great storyline going into it, but then it, he got not used, and then he was into a floundering angle. Right with somebody else, I didn't even know who it was, and then it went nowhere. All right, so there's definitely some names out there that could benefit going down to NXT, which would then help NXT be a stronger brand, like Nikon uh, envisions here. So definitely something to keep an eye on.